गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन दी पॉन्ड एज दी हैबिटेट वी ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व वी ऑल्सो लैंड दैट सम ऑफ दी प्लांट्स ऑल्सो फॉर सम ऑफ दी प्लांट्स ऑल्सो पॉन्ड इज ए हैबिटेट सम आर लिविंग ऑन दी सम आर फ्लोटिंग ऑन दी सर्फेस एंड सम आर एट दी बॉटम ओके फॉर दी सर्फेस वॉटर Um, which plants live on the surface means i told you the examples lotus and piscia which lives at the bottom means hydrilla plants okay uh, these two plants hydrilla lotus the two for these two plants pond is the habitat but they are different plants okay their leaves are different okay their stems are different hydrilla plant its leaves are narrow like ribbon structure narrow ribbon like structure okay hydrilla plant is having narrow ribbon like leaves and lotus is having the big size leaves which are floating on the surface of the pond not only that it is having the waxy coating on its surface that leaves are having waxy coating on its surface so they will float on the surface uh, hydrilla plant is present at the bottom of the pond today we can see the tree as a habitat okay different uh, tree is the habitat for different organisms why means various types of organisms living on a tree okay we can list out some organisms birds okay birds monkeys okay squirrels udatalu spiders साल पुरुगुलु, स्नेक्स, पामलु, बीस, अते एनेटी गलु, हनी बीस, वैस्प, कंदरी गलु, ओके, एंड मोट्स, अंते अबे रखते मैं ना कीचड़ लने पुरुगलर में टा, नेक्स्ट इंसेक्स लाइक मस्किटो ओके फ्लाइस कुन रखा ली ये कलो ओके कैटरपिल्ला गोंगल पुरुगुलु ओके आउल्स गब्बिलालु ओके एंड्स चेमरो ओके लाइक दिस सो मेनी ऑर्गेनिज्म्स एंड स्मॉल प्लांट्स आल्सो मोसेस okay small plants also like this uh, several types of organisms various types of organisms are living on a tree okay um, we can see these organisms on all the parts of a tree some are living at the base of a tree some are living on a trunk and some are living in the branches on the branches and some are living in the leaves on the leaves of a tree Um, that means various organisms are living in the various parts of a tree okay uh, which organisms are uh, living at the base of a tree means ants insects snakes okay which are living on the trunk trunk means kaanam chettu kaanam okay em perugutai kaanam meeda snakes squirrels lizards गार्डन लिजर्ड्स तो अंदर लो ये वाले गुड़ा पेरुते और विच लिव ऑन दी ब्रांचेस बर्ड्स पक्षियों मंकीज स्क्वेरल्स ओके स्नेक्स विच लिव्स ऑन दी लीव्स लीव्स मींस इंसेक्स कैटरपिलर्स स्पाइडर्स लाइक दिस वेरियस ऑर्गेनिज्म्स आर लिविंग ऑन दी वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ़ ये ट्री सो ट्री इज़ ए हैबिटेट
okay and some organisms they are always present on a um, present in the tree only see for example owls squirrels lizards the insects uh, they are always present on the tree and some organisms they will stay for some time and uh, they will go away in searching in searching of the food okay avi ka sep ala undi aa tarvata food searching kosam velipothay anamata that means for some organisms it is the permanent habitat and for some organisms it is the temporary habitat okay and if you observe the plant in the rainy season uh, we can uh, find the green velvety plant growing on it green velvety plant that means uh, green tivachi ओके पच्चन तिवाची लाइट प्लांट दर मेरे पैरेंट में चोस तो ओके ना दैट मेंस स्मॉल प्लांट्स आल्सो दैट मेंस नॉन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स आल्सो विल ग्रो ऑन दी ट्रंक सो फॉर सम प्लांट्स आल्सो ट्री इज़ दी हैबिटेट ओके एंड ट्री इज़ दी हैबिटेट इट इज़ दी परमेंट हैबिटेट फॉर सम ऑर्गेनिज्म which lives permanently means owl squirrels okay um, flies bees bats like that which is the which for which it is the temporary habitat means birds okay this is a boat um, and if you observe the different types of trees we can find the same kind of organisms on all the trees okay without any organism uh, there will be no tree अंत प्रती चटीद मन आर्गनिजम फैंड चेयचु ओके एव्री ट्री इज हाविंग दि सें कई आफ् आर्गनिज ओके दिस्ज अब ट्री नैक्स्ट कम टू आवर हाउस ओके आवर हाउस दट मीन इट इज अवर हाबिटेट इट ईज प्रोटेक्टिंग अस् फ्रम हीट को रेन and giving us shelter to live okay and so we are uh, growing up several plants several plants for fruits and vegetables and uh, we are rearing we are keeping pets also in our house pets like dogs cats parrots pigeons uh, some domestic animals like we are rearing some domestic animals like also like cow buffalo goat the uh, birds like hens ducks permit okay we are rearing some animals and we are keeping some plants in our house okay and coming to the pets uh, for example dogs is there it is living in our house okay for the pet dog uh, habitat is our house and dog is having a so we can see some dogs are living in the forest also we can see some dogs are, uh, on the roads or in the streets okay why we rear pet animals means they will guard our house okay and if for example dogs are there they are protecting our house they are guarding our house and if you see the cats they are eating the rats in our house okay which are spoiling our grains which are eating our grains it is, it is taking as foods so some people rear the cats in their house and um, okay um, some we are rearing some pet animals and we are rearing some domestic animals like cow buffalo for milk okay hen Goat for goat, duck for meat. We are rearing some domestic animals for meat. Some are for meat. And in our house, ah, uh, so many other organisms are also living, like rats. they are not useful to us rats lizards cockroaches okay bed bugs nallulu 
ants mosquitoes okay and flies egalo so many other organisms also living in our house they are not useful to us okay and we are uh, keeping in our house plants we are rearing the we are growing the plants for fruits and vegetables so many and uh, in our house also we are rearing indoor plants like many plants um, various types of protons like that that means for the plants and some for pet animals and some for domestic animals our house is a habitat see these are not useful to us but they are living spiders they are all living in our house why we are rearing some type of pets only and some type of uh, domestic animals only and some types of plants only means they are useful to us that type of plants are useful to us and that type of animals are useful to us they are giving the milk and meat some types of plants they are giving the fruits and vegetables so we are keeping in our house okay see uh, nowadays people they are uh, concerned about the milk of their domestic animals but they are not taking a uh, taking care of those animals they are not keeping their sheds clean they are not giving the proper fodder and water to them but it is not good you must take care while you are uh, concerned for milk you must take care of their shell uh, shed fodder and water also okay uh, animals they are also partner of our habitat they also right to live with us so we must not damage or destroy the habitat of animals you see nowadays we are seeing uh, cows uh, monkeys and dogs uh, uh, they are uh, we are seeing them on the streets why means uh, because of lack of food and shelter they are coming to our surroundings okay so we must not damage or destroy habitat of any animal okay nowadays some voluntary organization they are working for they are fighting for rights of the animals and for taking care of the protection of so, some type of animals okay thank you